On a night where we could see that man crowned world champion, Yara Campbell is the only man who can stay in the world title hunt. We've lost Jason Crump, he hasn't qualified for the semi-finals. And here we see the first semi-final. Thomas Gollop going off the inside in the red helmet. Nicky Pedersen goes off gate number two. Andreas Johnson is off gate three. And Runa Holter is going to go off gate number four. Gollop then, off the inside in red. All the attention is on that man. No question about it, he's been in brilliant form once again tonight. Really showing great composure. Will he make the start here, Gollop? He didn't quite make the start initially, but he got the speed into that first turn, and he's done that many times tonight. Gollop has the lead with Nicky Pedersen second. Coming through into third in the yellow helmet is Runa Halter with Andreas Jonsson training in the back. Gollop though looking in complete control of this first semi-final and looks to be heading through to yet another Grand Prix final. Yeah, he looks terrific out in front, no question about that. Runa Halter steaming around the outside. He was all over, the, all over the place there earlier on and really finding it difficult. But Gollop already has stretched a lead that it's just going to be absolutely insurmountable. You know, he's looking terrific out in front. Pedersen settling in second place. Can he make a second final on the bounce? Well, this race and the way that Gollop has got it under control means that he could well be world champion within the next few minutes as Halter has that third place now. It's a real battle for second, third, and the last place is oh. Johnson. Johnson locks up and almost takes Halter with him. Sensational stuff <laughs> on the back. <laughs> Look at Rudy Halter. He's gone from the back. He's neck and neck with Pedersen. Oh, oh. the red wheel. Out of shape. Rudy Halter entertaining everyone. Oh. Nicky Pedersen, that must have been so close, back up the inside. The run to the line, Pedersen hangs on. How on earth have they stayed on their bikes? That is sensational. Thomas Gollum takes the victory, and it's over to Yara Campbell in the second semi-final. Yara Campbell in yellow has to finish first or second here, otherwise Thomas Gollum will be crowned world champion. Off the inside, Chris Harris in red. Greg Hancock goes off gate two in blue. Both those riders looking good for the top eight now for next season. Hans Anderson goes off gate three in white. And Yara Campbell going off the outside. His pit crew watch on. Remember, he has to finish first or second, or that man will be world champion at the end of this race. Second semi-final here in Terranzano. Away from the start they go, and Hancock's got the lead early on. A superstar for the American, and what can Hample do in yellow now? Oh, Harris has come up the inside into second. Hample's got third now. He has to pass Chris Harris, or Thomas Gollum will be world champion. He'll be watching on in the pits as Hample goes high and wide. The lead is with Greg Hancock. Second place, Chris Harris. At the moment, Thomas Gollum, the man at the bottom right-hand side of your screen, will be crowned world champion. He knows he's there, but Hample's coming strong here. Unbelievable. You can't believe the scenes we're seeing here. Such tension in the pits. Gollum doesn't know which way to look. Unbelievable speed shown there, he's been frustrated tonight. He's had speed, but he hasn't been able to get to the front often enough. Round the outside he goes. Greg Hancock comfortably out in front, but the action is all about second and third. Can Hample make it? You can be sure Harris is desperate for a place in the final. Hample now going into the last lap. He's really going to have to charge hard after Harris. Thomas Gollum is on the verge of being crowned world speedway champion, but Hample is going to have one last bid to try and pass Harris, is it all over? Is Gollum going to be crowned champion? Here comes Hample in yellow! Yara Campbell in yellow! Oh. Down to the finish line! Oh. Can't split them! Unbelievable! Oh. Gollum said no! Just hang on! What a way, what a dramatic way for the second semi-final to come to its conclusion. Oh, that is so very tight! How do you split them from that picture? The referee has got to decide here. There's no question that Hample, a yard after the line, he's definitely in front and on the line itself. We are hearing that Thomas Gollop is the new world champion. He is the new world champion. We are hearing that Thomas Gollop is the new world champion. We're just awaiting confirmation that Chris Harris has reached the final. Thomas Gollop is the individual world speedway champion in the most dramatic of circumstances because the result has been handed to Chris Harris in second, Yara Campbell third, Hample will not make the final, and Thomas Gollop is the champion of the world. Good uh, evening, Good morning, everybody. I'm very happy in the today world champion for me in the 20 years in the race in the. All weeks, all month, all year, and uh, you must you win. 
Tonight is very happy and thank you for all team uh, together and the working and uh, my sponsors and everybody. Thank you very much. 37 years has been a long time for Poland. It's very long. Uh, I'm sorry, 37 years and uh, it's not good. Medal in Polish country. It's a uh, big difference today. Is tonight is gold medal in my Poland. First world title for Thomas Golub. The celebrations will go on long into the night. There's the outgoing world champion, Jason Crump, congratulating Thomas Golub. So Thomas Golub in red, riding for the first time in his career as world champion. He's still got a job to do here to win the meeting. He'll be desperate for that. Off the inside in red. Gate two is Greg Hancock, Nicky Pedersen gate three, Chris Harris off the outside, and we can now officially say that three of these four riders are all World Speedway champions. Yeah, fabulous lineup for the final tonight, and there's no question that Golub will want a finishing style. Harris has been fantastic tonight. Some of the performances have been out of the top draw. Pedersen are beginning to show much improved form. Away they go! And it's a good start from Chris Harris in yellow on the outside, but Golub, the new world champion, has just been passed by Hancock. Hancock, the 1997 world champion, has the lead. Thomas Golub is second. Chris Harris is third, Nicky Pedersen trailing at the back. This promises to be some race now, because you can be sure that Golub will be desperate to win on the oh, night. Oh, Golub the inside of Greg Hancock. Harris nearly collected him on the way through. Golub brilliant somehow, getting to the front after a lap. Once again, that's where he's been the majority of the night. He now settles out in front. Hancock now pressured by Harris around the outside. Superb stuff from him. Yet Chris Harris passes Greg Hancock, and now he's going to try and get after Thomas Gollop. Is Gollop going to win his 20th victory in a Grand Prix? It's his 52nd final in his Grand Prix career. It's his 128th Grand Prix appearance tonight, and here he is, set on top of the world as the new world champion. Going into the last lap, Gollop is going to win in style here tonight. Chris Harris well behind. Oh, oh. Chris Harris has had some speed. Has he ever? Down the back straight, they connect. Oh, Gollum's had to respond, he roars the trouble on, right out to the fence, on the last corner, now on the run to the line, Gollum gets it! Thomas Gollum hangs on to win the Italian Grand Prix on a night when he's crowned world champion, but what an effort that was from Chris Harris, he shakes Gollum's hand, that was a heck of a race, and Gollum hangs on in there, Harris will be delighted to be runner up here tonight, that is a real boost for his season. Greg Hancock was third, and Nicky Pedersen at the back. Thomas Gollum, six big points, because your points count for double in the final of a Grand Prix. He wins the meeting, and he scores 22 points.